Welcome to another episode of Builds by Bailey. Today we're going to do the first installment of prepping this car to get a roll cage. Uh, if you didn't notice in the last video or didn't watch long enough, I'm getting ready to put a cage in the Corolla. So uh, one of the things that you need to do is take the windshield out. Now I don't feel like spending a lot of money to have a guy come out to my house, take a windshield out of a car, and then call him up a few weeks later and say, hey, can you come put one back in? Um, since I'm doing a lot of prep work and stuff to this and I'm going to eventually be painting this car, I'm going to go ahead and leave the windshield out for a little while. So th these are still available, I can still get them uh, through a couple of different suppliers. So uh, I went to the store to Harbor Freight and bought myself a windshield removal tool uh, which is a poker and some cable um, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use that to get a windshield out. Now I'm not too so worried about this windshield because it's already cracked. As you can see there's a crack that runs along the bottom there, comes all the way over here and then shoots up the side. So this was like this when I bought it. Um, I knew it was going to be taking it out, I knew it was going to be putting a cage in at some time. Uh, so I wasn't too terribly worried. So uh, I'm also not too worried about cracking it because I tested out the kit and I already cracked it up here. But that's okay. Um, this is a, uh, I'm taking it out myself and I don't have to pay somebody to come do it. And I'm also going to try and take it out in as big a pieces as possible so it doesn't shatter all over the place. Now the first thing I did on the outside of the car, um, I got kind of bored last night so I came downstairs and I took all of the trim off around the windshield. Uh, all of the stainless. It's real easy to take off. Um, I actually have a uh, I've got a little pick tool, this little 90 degree pick. You shove it down in the side and where the pick comes there's these little plastic clips. You just pull back on those plastic clips and it'll release the edge of the trim. And then whenever you're ready to put the trim back on, it literally just pushes down and snaps into place. It's real simple. You start with the bottom piece. It actually unscrews. There's a couple of places along here um, where it screws into it. Pop those clips loose and then the side pieces come off like I just showed you. So um, be as careful as you can with that stuff because finding replacements are probably going to be really hard. Uh, and I was able to take all of those pieces off without damaging a single one of them. And this, this car is, you know, fairly old. It's an 83. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do something I didn't do last night. And we're going to clean this window real quick uh, so we can actually see what we're doing. Okay, now that that is cleaned, uh, just use some simple uh, window cleaner that's tent safe, just happened to be that way, um, and sprayed all the dirt off of it basically and wiped it off with a towel as you saw. Um, I have had this in my shop for a while and there's been some overspray get on it. You can hear it a little bit. Um, there's a way to get rid of that. Uh, so if you've got anything like that that you've come across, um, you can get some steel wool. Uh, I happen to be able to get it in cheap form, so I like that. But you can get it, you know, at the grocery store. However, you don't have to get it with soap in it, though, because sometimes they sell it that way. Um, but you can take the steel wool and just rub it on the glass until you hear that sound go away. And that'll get all of that last remaining dirt off of it. So we're taking this out, so I'm not worried about it, but that will get all that overspray off of it. So I went to um, Harbor Freight and I got a windshield removal tool. It comes with uh, a long um, like probe looking thing. I don't know if you can tell what it looks like. Like a long stick, it's thin, and this will allow you to poke through the urethane. Uh, came with that, came with two handles uh, which you're supposed to feed the cable through and you can saw it back and forth 
to take it out and it came with a bundle of cable. So uh, first thing you're going to want to do is cut you off a section of cable. I'm going to take about probably about two feet, maybe two and a half feet of cable, um, cut that off uh, with some wire cutters um, and then we'll be able to thread that onto the T-handle thing, shove that through the urethane and then uh, grab a hold of it and then tie it into those T-handles. So we're going to do that real quick, cut our wire and then start putting it in. Okay, we're going to take our wire, uh, take the end of it, we're going to, there's a little groove, it probably won't focus on it, but there's a little groove in the end of this. And we're going to take our wire and we're going to fold over just a little bit so we can push it through. If you put too much in there, then I noticed last night that you won't be able to get the cable through. Uh, like you won't be able to get it to, to poke out. So you want to be able to be able to grab it with either some pliers or something once it goes through. Uh, but a lot of times there's not enough room um, between the glass and the body itself to be able to grab that. So just give yourself maybe a quarter of an inch or so uh, of the cable so when you push it through it'll actually poke out and you can grab it with some pliers and pull it through. So I've got yeah a little bit you can kind of see there and yeah so about a quarter of an inch flipped over that and then we're going to push that through the urethane. Now I went ahead and I poked the T-handle through first uh, to kind of make a hole and then I'm going to go back in with this stuff. And I kind of open the hole up a little bit without cracking the glass. Uh, so we'll try that and see what happens. Okay, as you can see the grass, the grass, the glass is cracked. Um, not a big deal though, because uh, that's in that spot that I've shown you earlier. But you can see the cable on the inside and the tool, and you can see how it came through the urethane up here at the top. Now, I can grab a hold of the cable, because that came through. So that, and now I can grab a hold of that little piece with some pliers, and I can pull it through, and I can get the T-handle part, or the, the big probe thing, I can get it out of there. So we'll grab some pliers, we'll pull that through, and then we'll attach them to the T-handles. Okay, now that it is out, um, there are these two T-handle pieces. It's got a floating bar in the middle of it. Um, at the top of the bar, there's a fat side, and then there's a skinny side with an E-clip on it. So the fat side's going to be to the top. Um, there's also a hole in the middle. So we're going to thread our cable into the hole on the side with the E-clip. It'll come out the side, and then we're going to put that up, and then there's a little hole in the side up here at the top. We're going to thread that into that part, pull down on it, and the extra cable inside of this uh, T-handle will uh, basically tighten down on it and it will allow us to actually put force on it so we can have the two of them and saw them back and forth to get the glue loosened up so we can pull the windshield out of the car. So make sure when you're doing this, when you get your outside one done, <laughs> you gotta put one on on the inside of the car now. So, uh, do the same steps on the inside. Okay, now we have our two T-handles on, one on the inside and one on the outside. So we're physically just gonna saw this stuff back and forth. And you'll see it start cutting that urethane real fast. I'm just gonna do that. Um, the cable may snap. I had that happen on me last night. Um, and, but all you have to do is just pull that cable out, thread your new cable in, and just keep going.
Okay, now I've gone all the way around with the cable on all four sides. Um, you can see that the glass is loose. Um, all I have to do is lift it up out of place. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It should come out in one piece. I think this bottom corner right here might be the only part that's still just barely attached, but that'll be okay. It should peel up and not make too big of a mess. There you have it, the glass is all the way out. Um, now all I have to do is scrape the old urethane off all the areas there and get all that old stuff off of there so I can put uh, new stuff in after I get done painting it. Well that's gonna do it for this episode of Builds by Bailey. I hope you enjoyed me taking the windshield out of the Corolla today uh, and using the Harbor Freight tool to do so. Uh, for roughly $20 or so, we were able to take that out um, ourselves and not have to uh, call anybody in to do that kind of thing. So now this is one step closer to having the cage put in so that way we can put the bars in and the gussets to the A pillars. So next step we'll be putting in the door cards uh, and the bucket seat so we can get everything set um, for the cage to go in. So once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends.